I just moved the canoe over so that uh, if somebody comes while I'm up there, they have uh, lots of room here to dock their boat. Um, got my pack on, just brought my bag. Uh, every morning I pack a little bag of like snacks and stuff, granola bar, some M&Ms, some sesame snaps, um, in case I get hungry or I want a snack. So I've got that with me. All right, well, I'm just coming up to the harder part of the portage um, where it starts getting hard. And I uh, don't hear anybody yet. Oh, I don't think there's anyone at the campsite. What the heck is that? Just like a, a metal bin with something in it. Looks like garbage. Jeez. Oh, I think the campsite's empty, my friend. Okay, I gotta get down this. Hang on. I need the pack if I bend over forward. Sometimes it tries to topple over my head too, so it's a bit of a pain. Uh, I think I'm good. Look at It's like some kind of a metal, it looks like a filing cabinet. How does a filing cabinet get out here? Full of garbage. So weird. I think I'm safe. I think I got it. Early bird gets the worm. Early bird gets the campsite. The other one had a beautiful view of the falls. Huh. I don't think this is it. Which means there's two campsites here. Hmm. Interesting. I don't remember two campsites being here. Maybe somebody put one here. I don't think this is it. Um, that's a good spot for a tent. Uh, I'm gonna go just take a peek. Uh, maybe this is it. I thought there was a better view. I thought like it was right in front of the waterfalls. So, let me just go look. Let's go have a peeky. Oh, well, maybe it was right here. Ah, yes. It is the right one, I remember now. So I thought this would be a great spot for the tent and this is where the beautiful view is. Look at that. Okay. All right, I'm gonna set up my tent right here <laughs> on this unbelievably beautiful spot. It's actually not as loud as Center Falls, but it's still pretty loud. All right, it is 10.30, got the tent set up, blew up my thermarest, my pillow, got my sleeping bag in there, and uh, just gonna decide, um, I'm thinking about setting up the tarp over there by the fire pit, uh, or the bug shelter, I guess, um, and then leaving my chair and stuff underneath it so that it doesn't get wet in case it rains, um, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna go take a look over there and uh, see what it's like. It is 10.50. Uh, got the tarp set up here over the fire pit. Got my chair set up. Put uh, about three rocks in the bag just to make sure it doesn't fly off into uh, the waterfall world. And uh, I'm all set up here. Um, so I'm going to go over to the tent and organize my stuff there. Um, I'll pull out anything that I need to bring with me for today. Um, going over to uh, Cabin Falls. Um, I have my food barrel in the boat, so I've got my lunch with me already. I think I'm going to go and sit and eat my snacks and uh, just enjoy the view for a little bit. And then uh, I'll head back down the trail, uh, jump in the canoe and go and visit with Hap and Andrea. Well, as I've been walking around the campsite, as I usually do, I've also been collecting uh, some wood. There was a bit of wood here. I just moved it here underneath the tarp so it's protected and I uh, have a bunch of loose stuff that I've been picking up. Um, there's all kinds of wood around the campsite, so I'm gonna go do some investigating. Um, I actually saw this path down here, which would have been also uh, probably a good place to put my tent, but you know, gotta be right in front of the waterfalls. 
Oh, it's actually a little quieter here. Let me get away from the shushing. I thought maybe there might be a privy down here, but it's too close to the water. Um, it's a good place to get water, though. Oh, yeah, there's a nice spot for a tent right here, too. This is actually nice. It's really quiet down here. Not really quiet, but a lot quieter. So there's the view from here. It's a little waterfall. And um, definitely come here and get water and stuff. Wow. My video stopped recording because my phone is full, which is ridiculous. I had like, I don't know, something like 60 gigs open when I left for the trip. I cleaned everything out, so I just had to clean out 500 more videos and that's all I have to get rid of. So hopefully that'll do. All right, it is 20 after 11 and I've done all the things. Uh, I put my backpack in the tent, put all my stuff in the tent, closed it up. Uh, I collected a bunch of firewood, um, got it all underneath the tarp. So that's all ready to go. And um, just sitting here in my chair, I'm gonna have a snack. Um, Andrea left to go get Hap uh, at quarter to nine or 20 to nine. Um, and the plane was supposed to land at 10. So that's an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, it's 11.20 now, so it's an hour and 20 minutes since the plane landed. So um, hopefully um, if I sit here for about 10, 15 minutes and then make my way through the portage and canoe over, um, they should be back over there and settled by then. Um, I just don't want to rush them or anything um, or show up when they're like in the middle of doing a bunch of stuff. All right, it is 10 to 12. The sun just popped out for a few seconds. It wasn't long, but I'm hoping that means that... Uh, the sky's gonna clear up this afternoon. It would be lovely. Um, I am just on the portage, making my way back to the canoe. All right, I have returned to Cabin Falls and uh, found the access here to the cabin on the other side. And uh, I'm gonna pull the boat up and go up and say hello. I saw Andrea out on the deck, so we know they're back. And uh, hopefully they're all settled. I just pulled up the canoe there out of the way in case, uh, I don't know, somebody's going somewhere. And uh, I guess this is the entrance this year, um, I guess. It's really pretty. There's waterfalls underneath the stairs. I have no idea how they put these here. Must have been quite the uh, ordeal. <laughs> that. And then there's the cabin. <laughs> well, I'm here at Cabin Falls Eco Lodge. Um, we just said hi to Hap and Andrea. Um, Gwen is here volunteering. Um, we also have a young fella here. Uh, they just had guests come in with Hap, so I guess they're getting settled in. And Andrea and Hap are making lunch for them and unloading all the stuff that Hap brought in. So um, just sitting out here, I'm just going to make my lunch. I'm having a tuna wrap today. Um, I brought all my food with me so it wasn't left at camp unattended. And um, I'm just going to make my wrap and sit here and enjoy, the, enjoy this absolutely stunning view. I just came into where um, everybody eats, I think, uh, the guests. Um, looks like Debbie and Gary are here. <laughs> And um, I think they extended it. This was, I don't think this was here last time, but I could be wrong. Um, <clears throat> I think though it wasn't here. I think Hap's books were all here uh, somewhere, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, so these are all Hap's books in here, the cabin, an awesome read. If you haven't read that, get it. It's great. Especially if you're out tripping in tomogamy while you're reading it. Um, tomogamy. Lake Superior to Manitoba by canoe. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Canoeing and hiking while in Muskoka, I have this one. Trials, Trails and Tribulations, I read this last year when I was passing through. Um, Wilderness Rivers of Manitoba, Missanabe, um, River of Fire, one of my favorite books. Love this one. Uh, Gray Owl and Me, I have not read, and Dance of the Dead Man, I have not read, so I'm gonna have to get those. Um, yeah, and then there's just like music for people if they want to play music and there's books to read and then here's the guest book which I just signed so uh, I'm gonna go out and make my lunch and uh, just wanted to make sure that I signed the guest book before I left so I wanted to do it first. 
Have said no video. No video. No video. <laughs> no video. Yeah. There they are. They hi, guys. Are. <laughs> Say hi. You want to see them till the end of the summer. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, it's 2 o'clock. Um, I sat out on the um, deck with Hap and Andrea and Hayden and the two guests, Debbie and Gary. And uh, they had their lunch. I had my lunch. And we all sat and chit-chatted. It was really great. I had a, a lot of time to talk with Hap, which was awesome. Um, and uh, it's always great to talk to people who have so much knowledge. Um, and Andrea as well, and the guests. Um, and uh, Oban is here with me now. Um, Debbie and Gary said they were gonna go for a hike. Uh, so I'm just standing here waiting for them to come um, and meet up with me and we're gonna hike uh, the trails. They have trails here that Hap has made and uh, he asked me if I had hiked any of his trails before and I said, no, I have not. So it's two o'clock. I mean, I have three hours at least before dinner. So um, I'm just down the water. I mean, it's not very far. So I thought, why not? So um, I'm just waiting for Gary and Debbie to come and then uh, we're gonna go for a little boot. Well, it's 3.30. Um, I'm still at Cabin Falls Eco Lodge. Um, I just finished my hike with Gary. Um, his wife, Deb, decided not to come. She wasn't feeling too good. Um, so we went and did the lookout. I thought there would be a cell signal there, but I guess it's on the other trail that I didn't do, of course. Um, so no signal, so sorry, Mom. <laughs> um, I was gonna text you and tell you I'm okay, but couldn't do it. Uh, so, thought I saw something in the water. Um, I am heading now back to my canoe and back to my campsite up right over the falls. All right, it is a uh, quarter to four. I am back at the portage to Bridalville Falls. I've got the canoe all ready to portage. I've um, got my food bag with me that I brought. I didn't want to leave my food here by itself unattended, so um, plus I needed my lunch and stuff. So um, I'm carrying these two up to the campsite. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do the awful part of the portage with the canoe. I was going to bring it down because I thought, well, I'll be there all day and I can bring the canoe down at least and have that done. but. Um, the canoe goes with the food bag and I obviously need the food bag and I'm not going to leave the food bag down there with the canoe. So um, then I would have to carry the backpack and the food bag uh, tomorrow and I don't really want to do that portage with something in my hand um, like that. So I might just do them both tomorrow. I know what's expected. Um, I know what the portage is like. Um, after the rest of this one, uh, I only have a few more to do so um, I'll probably just wait. For now, I'm going to take this boat and stop procrastinating and take it back to the campsite and uh, sit and relax for a bit and rest my hip. It's really hurting now. Welcome to today's edition of Weekly Waterfalls. Today we are here at the Bridalville Falls in Tomogamy, Ontario. Check these out. You can camp right next to these waterfalls. All you have to do is climb over a lot of rocks, slog through mud, paddle about 30 or 40 kilometers each way and walk through boulder gardens with a canoe on your head. But it's all worth it. Look at this view. Well, it's quarter after four. Um, I just got a little fire going in my fire pit. Um, I always make my hands so dirty in there, but like people just ruin these fire pits. Like, like it's just full of rocks and then you lift the rocks up and underneath there's like oatmeal wrappers and it's like seriously people can you it's a piece of paper can you not just take it out with you or you know burn it you put it in the fire pit and you bury a whole bunch of rocks on top of it it's just so silly my hip or whatever this is it's kind of like the top of my like butt down my bum cheek and then like around the front of my hip and then down my leg a little bit it's it's really weird so I'm um, sitting here under the tarp I got a cute little fire going that like took literally no work at all. I'm just gonna put a couple pieces on and let it just burn slowly and uh, sit here and read my book and chill out. And look at these beautiful waterfalls right, like right next to my face. Unbelievable. Well, I finally got to see some wildlife on this trip. Check this out. Whew. 
cool, eh? <laughs> I'm not complaining. Oh, I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty sure that I'm staying on one of the nicest campsites in the world. I mean, I've got my tent right here. Look at this view. This is the view from my tent. Um, yes, please. All right, it is five o'clock and I am making dinner. Um, today I'm having morel mushroom pasta. Um, super simple, but very yummy. Uh, I have a little bit of water here in my pot. I'm going to boil it. I'm going to add these uh, nesting noodles, which I really love. They cook super fast. They cook in like three minutes on my stove here. Um, and then I'm going to drain the water into the fire pit there, put the noodles in the cup. Then I'm going to Put some butter, maybe all of it. I don't know, we'll see how much I need. I do have olive oil as well. Um, in the pan or the pot. I didn't bring a pan, I'm just gonna do it in the pot. Uh, and then I'm gonna saute these um, mushrooms. They are morel mushrooms. And I also have some crimini mushrooms. Um, the same ones that I had on my pizza yesterday. Um, I gotta put some water actually in here to, to rehydrate them. So I keep forgetting to do that. I'm gonna do that right now. Um, and then I have, um, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I thought I brought some green onions, but I do not see them, so I guess they're not here. Anyways, I'm going to rehydrate those. Those will rehydrate nicely while the um, pasta is cooking, but I also have to, I have to fry the morel mushrooms. I think it's a minimum of three minutes um, because they're toxic if you eat them raw, so they have to be cooked. Um, and then I just brought some Parmesan cheese to put on top. And I'm gonna add some garlic powder and some garlic flakes and a little bit of salt. And that's it. Delicious dinner. Well, it's quarter after five. I got a nice little fire going. And uh, over here, I've just got the water boiling. I'm gonna put the noodles in now and uh, they won't take very long to cook. Cooking the pasta in a little bit of water is a little bit tricky. You have to, um, what I do is as soon as I put them in the water, I start pulling them apart with the fork and then I just keep stirring them until it's cooked and then I drain it. You have to watch because these, um, these will overcook very quickly. They don't take very long to cook at all and uh, then they get into like, they get kind of gross if they're overcooked. There are days where I cook out here that I just really wish you could smell this. It smells so good. These mushrooms and the butter. I got a little bit of olive oil, some butter, a little bit of garlic and these morel mushrooms mostly, and uh, there's some criminy in there too, and they are just smelling amazing. All right, there's my pasta. It smells amazing. Um, I just crumbled some Parmesan cheese on top of it, and um, I'm gonna sit here and eat. I don't know if it's the location or I'm really hungry, but this is the best morel mushroom pasta I've ever made. It is so good. Uh, I'm just sitting here just loving it. Well, it's about quarter after six and I'm just sitting here by the fire. Um, I had to clean up after dinner. That pasta was so amazing. Um, I was considering making the chocolate cheesecake or whatever freeze-dried dessert I brought, but I just ate a half a Snickers bar instead. I had one with me today and I didn't eat it again, so um, whatever. I thought it's an easy dessert. Um, my leg is really hurting or my hip, whatever it is. It feels like the inside of my left hip. Who knows what it is, as long as I can do the portages tomorrow and I can paddle out um, and still have a good time, I'm all good. Um, took a couple Tylenols, that should help. I was sitting, just sitting here listening to music, bobbing my head up and down and um, looking at the beautiful scenery of waterfalls like right next to my head here, um, which is pretty awesome and uh, 
these waterfalls and I have a special relationship because this this portage last year was one I had dreaded doing and I accomplished it and now I get to camp here so um, I had to come back and camp here it was really important for me to camp here today I don't know why but I just wanted to do it so I'm really happy it worked out well, it's 7.30. I'm just sitting here in my tent. Um, I just changed into my sleeping clothes. I finished uh, doing all the things outside. I put the fire out. I put the bear vaults away. Uh, I had to bring all the stuff back over here. I took the tarp down. I put my chair away. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so now I'm in my sleeping bag. I'm sitting here reading my book and um, staring out at this beautiful scenery here. Pretty nice view. Well, it's eight o'clock and uh, I was reading my book and my eyes started doing the thing. And I thought, oh, I still haven't looked at my map. So I looked, just looked at my map and my eyes were still doing the thing. Oh, sorry. I'm going to sleep. Good night. <laughs> Good morning. It is uh, six o'clock. Um, had a little sleep in today. <laughs> Uh, got up at quarter to six, um, went to the privy, went and got the food uh, barrel and all that stuff and uh, just about to make some oatmeal and then start packing up. Um, I didn't want to go too early as you can see here, I don't know if you can tell, there's mist rising from the falls and it's heading that way and that's where the rest of the portage is uh, with the rocks. Um, and I wanted to make sure they were dry this morning before I attempted to go down them. It was a bit of a, a rough sleep, but I think I got a good amount of rest anyways. My body feels rested and uh, my hip does feel uh, good enough, hopefully, to tackle these portages today. So um, I'm going to get moving and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Well, good morning again. <laughs> it's 7 o'clock, uh, right on the dot. Um, standing where the tent was, it's gone. Got all my stuff uh, packed up over there and uh, I'm ready to go down the dreaded Bridalville Falls Portage. Um, I am a little bit anxious this morning about it actually, uh, which I'm surprised, but um, it is a hard portage. So um, I'm gonna start making my way down and uh, hopefully I'll be done in no time. <laughs> All right, so what I thought I would do is take the canoe first. Um, so I have the food bag, the canoe, I'm wearing my PFD, I got my water bottle on. And I'm um, gonna take it to the hard part, the hardest part, <laughs> and then uh, leave it there. And then come back and get the pack. Take the pack all the way, and then set up the camera at the bottom. Um, and then uh, film taking the canoe the rest of the way. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Yesterday I intended to do that too and it didn't work out, so. Well, the falls is much louder here and really pretty. I didn't even walk this path like yesterday just to look and take pictures. <laughs> All right, here we go. I remember you, Bridal Vale Falls, Portage. Oh man, I forgot this part. And it's hard. <laughs> These rocks are not completely dry either. It's misting here. So the stuff is all a little bit damp, which is very bad. I totally forgot about this part. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, oh, hello. Sorry, Jeff. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, I'm sponsored by H2O, and this canoe belongs to them. Jeff is the owner of H2O, so when you hear me hit the canoe and say, sorry, Jeff, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. Uh, Whew. 
one wrong step and down you go, eh? Oh my crap. I'm literally scared right now. I forgot how hard this was. Just got the camera in my PFD again. I'm not holding it. <sighs> okay guys, come on. Let's go. Being a bit of a, a baby here. Okay, and that's the awful part. <laughs> wow. So, now I'm here with the canoe, and I'm like, I think I'm gonna take it all the way down. <laughs> I was gonna put it down here and film, but I just don't care right now. That's what happened last time. So, there's the steep part, which looks way steeper than it did last time. And over here is the log that happened Andrea put here. See it there? All of these rocks look wet and that scares me a lot. Oh man. Okay, just go slow, take your time. Step in the grooves. Come on, baby steps, baby steps. One step at a time. Oh my God. I'm now above the log. Oh shit, oh shit. I'm above the log. I don't wanna be this far up, but I can't slide down. Oh man, I'm stuck. I'm frozen. Oh shit, shit, shit. Okay, I don't know what to do here. Um, it's funny because when I walked with the canoe last time, I had such an easier time with it. Okay, here. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here we go. One foot on the rock, one foot on the log. I'm not a ballerina. <laughs> I'm not a gymnast. Okay. There we go, I'm over. All right. Whew. Now, when I was looking just there, I saw that there's a different way down now. Look, instead of going to the right, where I was last time, looks like there's a trail going here. I'm gonna put the boat down. All right, well, I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. Um, I put the canoe down just up here. I went to the right this time. Last time I went through here and down. Um, but this time I just came through here. So there's the canoe. I'm going back to get the pack. Not the best view of the falls from down here right now. Um, that's okay. Uh, it's 7.17. Well, it took me like 15 minutes to bring the canoe down. There it is there. Oops. There it is there. And uh, I'm gonna go back and get the pack and uh, be done with this one. Hopefully that footage came out good because I'm gonna set the camera up down here somewhere and then film coming down, but I didn't realize how far over the log was um, from the other part. So I wouldn't get to see anything except walking on the log. Um, I can still set it up now, but I have to go all the way back up to the campsite, get the backpack, and come all the way back down. So I'm gonna make a really long video and fill up my phone really fast. It's really hard to show the steepness of these rocks um, and how crazy they are. Uh, yesterday, and many times I've said that the Cabin Falls Portage um, is harder than this one. And uh, I'm definitely taking that back right now. <laughs> this one is way harder. And uh, one of the hardest portages I've ever done in my life. Look at that. That's just a sheer drop. Like, if you make a wrong step here, you're going down. It's so steep. I 
just came down. Unfortunately, with the water being so high, uh, I can't get any really good pictures um, of me standing in front of the falls with the canoe like I did last year, um, but I did the best I could. I'm trying to set up the tripod on stuff like this, and standing here for like 10 minutes took me less time to do the portage, and I can't get the camera to stand up, so um, that's, that's all there is going to be. It's really hard to show um, the craziness of it all with a, a camera, but I've done my best. Uh, one of my big worries coming through here last year and this year is uh, walking on wet rock. And uh, this whole section here is soaking wet. It's almost like it's raining here. You can see in the trees um, because of the mist that was coming off the falls this morning. So, uh, that too, I guess. Bye bye, bye to the falls. That's where my tent was up there. <laughs> That's all. all right, it's eight o'clock, and uh, I'm just heading away from Bridalville Falls. Um, half an hour to do the portage, half an hour to take pictures and videos. <laughs> it's the way it goes for me. My choice, but I enjoy it. I didn't get enough footage there last year, and uh, when I got home, I was disappointed. So I wanted to make sure that I got enough. Um, videos and pictures from there because I don't know if I'll be coming back to this area anytime soon or maybe ever so all right the sun is up and shining in my face uh, total blue skies today I think it's the first full nice sunny day I've had on my trip um, which is perfect because I got to do fat man's and I don't want those rocks to be wet and uh, yeah hoping today goes nice and smooth um, that went well uh, when I took the canoe down, I was really, really, really frozen at that log. Um, there's a, a couple of little steps in the rocks um, where there's like pine needles and moss and stuff. And that's where I put my feet. I don't ever step on the rocks because the rocks, rocks are slippery and your feet just can slide right off of them. Um, so I always try to find a groove or a crack in the rock uh, where there's some kind of you know dirt or debris or uh, pine needles or whatever, and that's where I step. Um, so when I went with the canoe, I was here <laughs> and the log was over here and there was nowhere to step in between. So I had to kind of like lean the canoe over this way. So it was kind of a little bit touching the rock and then slide my foot down to the log and then lift myself up. But you have to do it slowly because if you do it too quickly, um, you'll shift the canoe over and you'll lose your balance and go down. So um, anyways, I managed it okay. I'm really glad that it's done with. Um, Fat Man's isn't a treat either, but at least, uh, you know, it's better than this one. And um, 
It's the only bad one I have left, so. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.